Well, thanks for clicking Weather on Demand. I'm Sean Householder with UpperMichiganSource.com. The almanac from yesterday, well, we didn't do it. The official high at the National Weather Service office in Nagani, 30 degrees, obviously a couple of ticks below uh, the freezing point, but that changes today. That leaves yesterday the 75th day in a row of temperatures uh, below the freezing point. Look at where we're starting on this uh, Wednesday morning, February 19th at the 8 o'clock hour. Some single digit temperature readings. Most of us though, right through the teens and uh, even into the low and mid 20s and some of those warmer spots looking west. Some uh, patchy fog this morning, but that's just about out of here. Plenty of sunshine as you can see, thanks to high pressure uh, essentially overhead. That uh, means mainly sunny skies for us, but there's a couple of things to watch for. First thing this morning looks like a mess across the uh, Appalachians. Look how much freezing rain and mixed precipitation working across uh, parts of Pennsylvania into the mountains of West Virginia through the Virginias and even Carolinas with uh, some sloppy weather this morning. There's also a low to watch across the high plains and another across the southern plains, but it's high pressure today that eventually slides eastward uh, this evening and overnight by early Thursday. These two lows on an approach and watch what happens by Thursday night into your Friday. This low will bring some heavy snow across much of the western and central upper peninsula. There could be a touch of mixed precipitation uh, into your uh, late morning around lunchtime, and then we see a cold front settling in, so that'll change it all to snow. But across the south and eastern UP, there may be some mixed precipitation in the form of uh, freezing rain, sleet, uh, plain rain, in fact. As we look back at today, plenty of sunshine, highs into the 30s. In fact, some of the warmer spots across west and central upper Michigan, low 40. So that should be nice. Enjoy it. Soak in the sunshine. We have a mild and dry overnight, but we'll see increasing clouds ahead of the next front. And then into your Thursday, I think the snow and mixed pre precipitation starts to get going right uh, just before lunchtime, I would think. Highs will be generally into the 30s, a couple of ticks above the freezing point, so we do have to account for that mixed precipitation. We'll also watch some gusty east winds uh, on the northern fringe of that low. So the forecast, uh, we're expecting at least a foot of snow Thursday into your early Friday across the far western UP. You could see a foot and a half there. And uh, snowfall amounts diminishing as you look into central upper Michigan, but we're still getting a healthy dose of snow. And we may see three to six inches across the far eastern UP. Uh, there's still some uncertainty with this system because small changes in that uh, latest low track and strength can mean big changes for us here at, uh, across the Upper Peninsula. Here is what uh, we think is going to be the rain snow line, and so it does appear it's mainly snow across the western half of Upper Michigan. But in these eastern counties, there could be anything rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain, and there may be a touch of thunder, in fact. So we do have a blizzard watch effective for Keweenaw and Houghton counties that kicks in Thursday evening, carries right through uh, Friday morning, and that leaves the remainder of the TV6 viewing area under a winter storm watch from Thursday afternoon through early Friday morning. Friday looks blustery with strong gusty winds, peak wind gusts possibly 45 miles an hour, especially along those exposed portions of Upper Michigan. That'll bring blizzard conditions to the UP. Uh, not great flying weather, but uh, we think it'll clear out sometime in the afternoon. Bitter cold, and we start to dry out for the weekend. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.